guys! This is about the fourth time I've tried to start filming this video because I seem to have got all anxious and back to the beginning of um, video confidence. Was that a thing? Um, but anyway, it's been about three months I think since I last filmed one and I'm getting stage fright again. <laughs> um, stage fright? <laughs> um, I'm in the spare bedroom today filming this on my brand new DSLR that I got for Christmas so I can see myself so that's weird but <laughs> um, anyway, this video is a look back at the goals I set myself at the end of 2014 for 2015 and I'm going to tell you how I've done with them. Spoiler alert, not very well! <laughs> but anyway, let me just grab them. I did have them all ready and then I started poodling about and now I've got to get them all back again, sorry. Um, okay. My goals for 2015 were, number one, tackle fitting. Well, I tried. I think I've got a bit better. Um, but if you've read on my blog my misses, my top five misses of 2015 post, you'll see that most of my fails were down to fitting, um, especially the knitting ones. But this, this was a sewing goal rather than a knitting goal because I hadn't knit anything that's a proper garment. I'd knit scarves and things like that before. Um, but this year I have knitted, knitted, um, nearly three cardigans. I've just got the sleeves left on the ones that I started in March. Um, so yeah, tackle fitting, ish. Um, I think I've got better. I've, I've bought a couple of books on fitting. I bought um, uh, the one everybody loves. Fit for real people, um, which is really useful and it teaches you the actual adjustments to make. And then at the very beginning of it, it has you do a map of your body. Um, and that helped me to realise my proportions, really. Um, apparently, I am a true petite um, and I have long legs for my body, which is something I never would have thought was the case. Um, so I think I've got slightly better. I'm, I know what all the terms mean now. <laughs> but yeah, as I have discovered knits this year, I have needed to fit a lot less. Um, so tackle fitting will probably roll over into to next year as well. Um, number two was to draft my body sloper. Uh -uh. <laughs> um, nope, just haven't. Um, I am a total yo-yo when it comes to my weight and ideally I want to be at a place where I'm happy to stay before I go through the hassle of making my body sloper and most of 2015 was getting bigger and bigger um, and then at the end of it I, I lost a little bit of weight and I'm still trying to, to lose a, to get a little bit slimmer. Um, so once I am at a weight weight size really, a size that I'm happy to be at because I don't care what my weight is, um, then I will I will make my body slower, a block. Um, number three was to learn to sew with knits. Yay! This one I have done. This one I have aced. Um, uh, in my post I said that I wanted to make a Tilly and the Buttons cocoa dress and a plantain and that I'd bought the ballet dress pattern. Um, I've made, I've only made two ballet dresses but I have plans for many many more um, and I've made a cocoa dress towards the end of this year. Um, I haven't yet made a, a plantain but I've got, got the fabric for some and I'm going on holiday in January so I will hopefully get one or two of those done in the, the three weeks that I've got to go. Um, but yes, love sewing with it, love them. Love it all. Oh, and I've made other things with knits for other people that I just remembered. I made my man friend a um, seamwork Paxson for Christmas, which he likes very much. And I will get some pictures of that at some point, if it ever stops raining enough for us to go outside. Um, right, oh, number four was to sew a coat, which is another, uh -uh, I'm afraid. Um, I, I bought the pattern, I bought the fabric, I even bought some calico for a toile, and I just haven't done it. I've been, my output has been really pounced this year. Um, I 
I guess I've just been busy and lazy really. Um, I didn't sew anything until about May this year. I was I was knitting instead. Um, and yeah, it's because uh, I wanted to make a deer and doe pavo. So uh, it's a spring or an autumn coat really and I didn't make it at the beginning of the year and I didn't make it later on in the year. Hopefully I will get round to that in the early months of next year and I'll be able to wear it that March, March, April time which would be nice because I bought a, a royal blue um, garbadine I think it was for that which I think would be really lovely. Um, and finally number five was to sew things I wear and I think I've done well on that one, um, mainly because I've started sewing with knits, I'm just a bit more conscious of what I actually do like to wear these days, um, which is knits. It's knits and it's t-shirts and moving forward into next year I want to carry on sewing, sewing knit dresses and I want to work a lot more on separates. Oh, and I had a supplementary goal on my list of goals that was to... Um, knit um, Andy Satterland Miette cardigan, which I did, Oot. Um I also knit um, a Vian, I think that's how you say it, cardigan, also by Andy Satterland, and, um, and I'm part way through another Miette, just sleeves to go. I've probably said that wrong as well, haven't I? It's probably fancier. So that's my look back at 2015's goals and how I did. Hopefully when I look back at 2016's goals they will have been been slightly more successful but I'm not going to beat myself up about that. Anyway, hope you're all having a lovely day. Have a lovely New Year's Eve if I get this up before then, which I probably won't, or have a lovely 2016 and I will see you with more videos in 2016. Bye!